Welcome back to Marketplace Middle East. I'm Eleni Jakas. Now, in 2021, the MENA region saw a record in venture capital funds of $2.6 billion. Startups in MENA raised $299 million in March 2022, pushing quarter one funding to $934 million. Among those in the Dubai-based digital platform, Tabby, the Buy Now Pay Later portal, from the UAE to Turkey, we meet the movers and shakers at different startups taking the lead in innovation and the type of environment which helps them thrive. Here in the UAE's capital of Abu Dhabi, Hub 71 is a tech ecosystem in the heart of the financial district. From fintech to edtech to e-commerce, it is all here. I caught up with the man behind Hub 71, Badr Al Olama, who tells me about some of the most exciting new innovations. Badr, great to see you. Great to be in Abu Dhabi. Thank you for coming. Good to be at Hub 71. Tell me about what you, you guys are up to here. No, first of all, do you feel the energy? Do you feel the vibe? I vibes? do. I feel the vibe. This I feel is it strong. A, this <laughs> is something that you can't find anywhere else in Abu Dhabi. People here are coming not just to work, but they're coming here to make a positive impact yeah. all over the world. And this is what excites me about the place. I mean, this place is phenomenal. You find people from 42 different nationalities sitting all over the place. And all they care about is actually making their startup work. There's something very exciting happening here at Hub 71. Back in 2018, Abu Dhabi wanted to bet on the future, and they set up a program called Ghadan 21, which was funded by $13.5 billion to actually start this whole future process, future-proofing the economy. And Hub 71 was actually created a year after. And Hub 71, in you know, very simple terms, it is Abu Dhabi's global tech ecosystem. Where do you hope to take this? Because I know that you know Abu Dhabi is still very much oil-based economy. That's your revenues, that's your main source of revenue. Do you think that it is going to be a, con a significant contributor down the line? It is. You see, the whole diversification story that started almost now 15 or 20 years ago, you see a lot of those elements in place. Startups are a core component of that. You need the cluster. You need those startups to come and reinforce the competitive edge that we're trying to build across the diversification. And what is great about it is that it starts getting the private sector involved. We don't want to crowd out the private sector. The private sector wants to invest in these startups. Family offices, think about the wealth that you find in different family offices that have been built over the 50, 60, 70 years since the, you know, the country was formed. They want to be part of this new wave of technology. Tell me what you've been able to achieve since inception. How many companies have been born out of this incubation and some of the exciting innovations? Well, when you look at what we've done so far, we, through Mubadala's sort of overseeing this, this, uh, the hub, we fast-tracked the process of actually building up this community. And the numbers speak for themselves. We have over 170 startups. 80% of them came through our programs. 20% were just attracted by the power of Hub 71. We've been able to bring in over 50 blue chip corporate companies and investors to be part of this ecosystem. I want to talk about the regulatory environment. So I want to talk about, you know, from inception, someone comes in with an idea, starts utilizing your space, to then getting approval to be able to make their dream, their business a reality. Is the regulatory environment difficult? You know, I'd like to say that one thing I really like about Abu Dhabi, and I've been here for about 17 years, is we all play as one team. This is all about teamwork. So what Hub 71 does is gets the startups selected, and we work very closely with the team at Abu Dhabi Global Markets, ADGM, who support us with the regulatory part. And then through Mubadala and through ADQ and through other companies, Adnoc, in the market, we give them access to the right decision makers. We work together and we drive the results and the outcomes together. So, you know, the reason I ask this is, are the traditional businesses, are your traditional systems ready to be disrupted by new and exciting innovation? ADGM is a very new entity. Yeah. And ADGM has bought, you know, sort of the best practices from all around the world and adopted it in Abu Dhabi. And that's why we have the, one of our biggest advantages is the partnership with ADGM. 